A Simi Valley woman thought she had the perfect way to keep her pet safe after a coyote killed her dog. But CBS 2's Amy Johnson tells us the city told her no. These bronzed coyote statues are a welcome sight at Coyote Hills Park in Simi Valley, but the real animals are anything but welcome down the street at Kathy Cook's house. I'm not here to hurt the coyotes. I don't want to harm them. I just want to keep them out of my yard. It was a year ago that a coyote grabbed one of her dogs out of her yard. I found her collar at the end of the six-foot fence down at the bottom. No blood, no hair, no nothing. She's gone the extra mile to make sure coyotes don't come back. The first thing I did was put that electric fence in. Four strands, five strands of barbed wire at a 45 degree angle at the top. Many in this neighborhood agree the coyotes have gotten more aggressive with the drought. Well, they were here before us, and there's nothing that says we can't coexist, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. But again, that's why we're not asking to destroy them. Mm -hmm. We're not asking to kill them. Mm -hmm. We're asking to simply fortify our houses. But someone complained about Cook's fences. It's actually in our development code and it's specifically excluded. So barbed wire, razor wire, um, and electric fencing is specifically excluded in our development code as uh, a fencing option. Cook was given 60 days to turn off the electricity and remove the barbed wire, and the city will come out tomorrow to make sure she's done that. But she's also hoping they'll offer her some solutions. Our staff members are going to be doing some outreach to the homeowners associations in the city, specifically in Long Canyon and Wood Ranch areas, where we've had um, a number of complaints related to coyotes. And neighbors are invited to Simi Valley City Hall for a meeting with Fish and Wildlife next month to get more information on protecting their animals and families from coyotes. In Simi Valley, Amy Johnson, CBS 2 News.